Mere disrespect to the Indian national anthem is not an offence. Unless it prevents the singing of national anthem or causing disturbance in the assembly, engaged in such singing of national anthem. This was recently ruled by the single bench of Honorable Justice Sanjeev Kumar, judge of the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir. The judgment was given by the bench in a case titled Tausif Ahmed Bhatt vs. State of Jammu and Kashmir. The court ruled that mere disrespect to the Indian national anthem is not an offence. It is an offence only if the conduct of person is like to prevent the singing of national anthem or causing disturbance to the assembly engaged in such singing of national anthem. The court also ruled that executive magistrates are not empowered under subsection 3 of section 156 of the CRPC to direct police to register the FIR in a case which is of a cognizable nature. The court said that only judicial magistrates are empowered under subsection 3 of section 156 of the code to direct police to register the FIR. Now coming to the facts of this case, as revealed from the petition was that a case was registered against the petitioner at Bani. Bani is a place in Jammu and Kashmir where the petitioner was posted as lecturer on contractual basis. So what happened actually? After India's surgical strike, a function was performed at uh, Government Degree College, Bani, wherein, uh, the, where the petitioner was appointed as lecturer on contractual basis. While this function, a group of students staged protest against petitioner who claimed that uh, petitioner showed disrespect to the Indian national anthem and they filed a complaint against petitioner. And on the basis of this complaint, a formal communication was submitted to the police concerned by SDM Bani, who was an executive magistrate. And accordingly, an FIR was registered against the petitioner under Section 3 of Prevention of Insult to National Honor Act 1971. Now coming to the definition of Section 3 of the Act 1971, it says that whoever intentionally prevents the singing of Indian national anthem or causing disturbance in the assembly which is engaged in singing a national anthem shall be punished with imprisonment up to three years or with fine or with both. So there are two main ingredients in this section 3 of Act 1971. The first one is that to prevent the singing of national anthem and second one is that to cause disturbance in the assembly engaged in uh, such singing of national anthem. After uh, hearing the arguments of both parties, the court uh, caused the FIR which was registered under section 3 of this Act 1971 and the, and the court ruled that mere disrespect to the Indian national anthem is not an offence. It is an offence only if the conduct of person is like to prevent the singing of national anthem or to cause disturbance in the assembly engaged in such singing of national anthem. Apart from it, the court also ruled that executive magistrates are not empowered under su uh, subsection 3 of section 156 of the CRPC to direct police to register the FIR. And it is only judicial magistrates who are empowered under subsection 3 of section 156 of the code to direct police to register the FIR.